By nature of the job, paramedics and firefighters respond to emergencies. Calls are usually stressful and a proper response can save lives. Responding to a pediatric emergency can make situations even more difficult for first responders. But now Martin County Fire Rescue has deployed the new Hantevi pediatric system that is aimed at improving emergency care for their smallest patients. Firefighters and paramedics come to the aid of people in need all the time. She's one year old. Yeah, just a one year old, please. Bring her. Okay, ma'am. While I'm talking to you, the paramedics are on the way, okay? I need you. And some of those calls will stick with them forever. I remember every single pediatric call I've ever run. When a child is involved in an emergency, it can be very difficult for firefighters and paramedics. Running a pediatric call where the child is critically ill is probably one of the single most stressful calls that any paramedic will ever run. Martin County Fire Rescue Bureau Chief Heather Crary says those high stress levels can lead to miscalculations, especially when it comes to drug dosage for a child. Traditional emergency protocols called for EMTs to perform complex mathematic calculations to get the proper amount of drugs drawn. So once you figured out the, uh, what the actual pediatric length was, then you would determine what their color was, then that would match up to a dosage, then you would have to take the medication and however it was packaged, you would then have to calculate how to get that dose out of that packaging, and then you would have to double check it and then give it to the patient. All very time consuming and with plenty of room for error. Now with the new hand heavy system in place, emergency responders are able to make quicker and more confident decisions. It is a job tool that is designed to take the stress and anxiety and potential medication errors out of treating a critical pediatric patient. The new hand heavy system helps paramedics determine how much medication a child needs in an emergency based on age and weight. The system comes with an app for first responders smartphones along with age specific bags with all the appropriate size equipment they will need. You don't have to do any calculations. As long as you verify a couple numbers that everything matches, it tells you how much fluid to, ball, to draw up for the medication, and you're ready to give it. The important part here is the uh, color-coded bag system. Faye McAlpine has been a firefighter paramedic for Martin County for more than eight years. She helped the department with the installation of the system. And they were finding that even nurses and doctors were coming, because it's a stressful situation, they were even coming up with wrong calculations. So this system used in the EMS and the hospital helps you to take calculations out of that stressful situation and prevent the drug errors or the overdosing or underdosing of children because you no longer have to calculate. She says the system is already working. I've used it myself on a, on a seizure patient, which, you know, those get stressful with the parents getting nervous. I didn't have to do any calculations. I pulled up the app, was able to pull up medications and give it right there. Chief Crary says the expensive system could not have been installed without the help from the local firefighters union. Through a very generous donation from local 2959, we were able to buy everything and it, we would never have been able to do that without the donation. I have two small children of my own and I'm comforted to know that these tools have been in place with the EMS system knowing that my child is going to get quick care right away. It is definitely going to save lives. Not only is it going to save lives, but it's also going to allow for us to be um, more aggressive and to possibly just improve outcomes to discharge. For Martin County Television, I'm Bob Hoganson.